Welcome back to Wilderness Systems Kayak Bassing. This week, Chad Hoover continues his hunt for big bass on Briary Creek Lake in Virginia, where he's just been joined by Cameron Van Scoy from Anchor Wizard, who just made the long drive down from Michigan. I'm just hopping it over some of these logs down there, the jig, and slowly moving along the bottom. Oh. There's one. Oh, don't throw that hook, big boy. It's a nice one. There we go. Oh, nice fit. Yeah, look at there. Very nice fish. So what I did there is I just took this jig and I was just bouncing along bottom, bouncing it over the log, just trying to irritate them because they're out in the deeper staging right now. And that's a nice fish right there. Beautiful. Since I got this little fish here, let me show you guys a quick tip about landing fish. I see this mistake a lot. Guys, reel to the rod tip and go up the rod like this to land a fish. If that fish makes a surge right there, you've got a short line, you've got no rod flex left, and the fish is gonna break off and you're gonna lose fish. Instead of doing that, here's a quick tip. Let off about a rod's length worth of line, change rods to the opposite side from the fish and use it as a shock absorber, pushing up and away from the fish and bringing it into your hand, grabbing it by the lip. That right there will save you tons of fish. If that fish decides to make a surge, you've got a lot of flex in the rod and you can give with your wrist. So instead of walking your hand up the rod, give yourself about a rod's length toward the line, leave a little flex in it and you'll catch more fish. Or you'll lose less fish, how about that? <laughs> Just a little one, man. Nice little fish. What happened to the big Virginia bucket mouth? We're working on it. We're working on it, he says. I think you're scaring them with them white legs. Ah, here, hold on a sec. Or red legs. <laughs> I think all, the all black makes your, the white look whiter. All of this is just natural. I don't do the fake bake like Chad does. Yeah. All right, so after the spawn, and when the fish move into their summer patterns, one of my favorite techniques is to target deep uh, cover and structure or uh, cover on the structure, what I call the spot on the spot. But it can be maddening doing that, especially when the wind picks up. And so what I use to solve that is a system called the Anchor Wizard. Let me show you how easy the Anchor Wizard is to deploy. And then I'm gonna kick it over to Cameron Vanskoy of Anchor Wizard to let him show you some mounting options and how easy it is to install. So it's real simple. You simply loosen this handle up, let the anchor hit the bottom. And what I like to do is let out about three to five times length the, of the depth of the water so I get a good angle and it holds me in place. Then you simply tighten the handle back up, give it a little bit of extra, you know, just tighten it about a quarter turn more. The anchor wizard locks in place and voila, you are held in place for whatever presentation you want. If you want to stop and have lunch, uh, it works in deep water, works in shallow water works great with an anchor trolley system. So again, let me kick it over to Cameron Vanskoy and let him show you how easy it is to install and some other mounting options. Hey, thanks, Chad. Real quick, I'm gonna show you how to mount our kayak anchor as it do a track. It's super simple. You pretty much take your T-nut, go through the track, tighten them down. Get it, it's an Allen head quarter 20 bolt. You take your mounting material. There's one. There's two. Super simple, mounted down, very sturdy. You're ready to anchor. A simple way to use your uh, kayak anchor is instead of using it with the anchor chute, you can turn the system around and use a vertical tie down mount from Yak Attack and just throw it right over the edge. You just take it, turn it around, use the hole, 
uh, thread it through here and you drop it down and that's the easy way. Um, I also have a kayak anchor shoe and that's on the back, I'll show you. The, uh, the vertical mounts are also nice for making your rope really neat running all the way through here to the back. And then here's the anchor shoe down the back. It's mounted down with the same vert or quarter 20 bolts or you can permanently mount it. Here's the Yak Attack uh, Universal mount. A uh, simple way I'll use my hand here, you just pull it back, it's up. It's mounted and it's done. And then when you want to drop it, you just let it go. Pull it up and it's stowed there. So when you lock your anchoring system, it's stowed, it's up out of the water. I'm using a, uh, right now I'm using a three pound, three pound downrigger weight. You can use this or any anchor that you desire. I also have chain. Here's chain if you're getting into the weeds, they're both good for the weeds. Or you can use a grapple anchor, whatever anchor that you would desire. You can mount the entire system in five minutes or less. And then that way you're ready to anchor and you're ready to fish. These super lightweight paddles really come in handy on days like today. <laughs> I'll beat you there. Well, it is not what I thought it was. I thought I had got a decent bass. And it turned out to be one of these here, as Vince refers to them, snot rockets, little hander, hammer handle. It's pretty good size for a southern one, but uh, there's quite a few of these here in Briary, especially when you get down to this end of the lake, near the grassy end, away from the dam. You get a lot of those guys. They're just big enough to be fun and irritating at the same time. We are on the dink train today. Coming to you live from Briary Creek Lake. <coughs> Whew. That could have been ugly. There we go, baby. Oh, oh, the pike. Darn it. Look at that. It's like if diarrhea was an animal, that's what it would look like. Oh, it could be a carp. Oh, no, there's one right there. That's a bass for sure. Here. He's chasing bait right here in front of me. There he is. I got him. Beached him, baby. <laughs> Threw over that berm and brought him to me. <laughs> you know what, even though this ain't a monster, I love catching fish that I know you just couldn't catch any other way. And you couldn't catch that fish any other way than in a kayak. It's a chunk. And it gobbled that lizard. So I kind of eased along behind him, popping bait in this little back cut behind this floating mud. And he worked his way up here to this opening. I saw the swirl, cast past it, watched him eat it, and he took off running to deep water. And I waited till he was clear of all this stuff and then set the hook. <laughs> that is fun, fun, fun right there.